All right, I'm Thomas Ward, and my, uh, my artist name is Thomas Newton. So I kind of grew up on a lot of classic rock and a lot of uh, just whatever's on the radio. So basically any classic rock like Guns N' Roses and uh, Slash was kind of a big, big inspiration for me. And that got me into guitar. And uh, from there, it's just kind of been John Mayer since then. How did you get started making music? Um, kind of going back to the Slash thing. I just got super into guitar with, uh, with Guns N' Roses and thought, I want to try that. And then... Uh, just from then on, just never put the guitar down, and then found other people like, uh, you know, Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, basically any of the guitar guys that you could think of, and uh, started writing stuff on guitar, and then from there, just kind of thought I had more to say than just what was on the guitar, and uh, started writing songs. My roommate, Rob, actually helps write some of the songs. Rob kind of just helps bounce ideas off of. Um, he's great in that way, that I can think of an idea like Love Moat or whatever it is and uh, kind of come to him with, with that idea and then he kind of just helps uh, kind of work it through, make sure that I don't say something stupid in the lyrics <laughs> that doesn't make sense down the line. But uh, aside from that, it's really just, uh, just me and whoever I want to work with at the time. How did you produce this song and what was the process like? Yeah, so kind of a cool story. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but there's a website called uh, Sound Better. I don't want to plug them, but that's a website. <laughs> And uh, basically, you can find pretty like high-level producers um, from all over the world. And I mean, I spent a lot of searching because I've been writing music for you know two or three years, mainly two years. But I've been playing guitar for three years. And I found this guy Adrian uh, online, and he's from the UK. So uh, I found him on that website, and from there, it was kind of just a good connection. Um, and he loved the work that I was doing, so it kind of just worked out. And we spent, you know a couple weeks before the summer ended and uh, worked on that song, Love Mode, so it worked out. What inspired you to write Love Mode? Um, for me, I mean, a lot of artists have like a specific thing where it's like this song was like that one moment in their life that forced them to write that song in a way. For me, it wasn't, it wasn't one time. It was kind of just, I, I had a feeling. Songwriting is all about catching a feeling in a way. And I caught a feeling of like, maybe not even just for me, but for people in general, like love mode is kind of just, kind of when you block yourself out from other people and you feel like you shouldn't need to. So love mode is kind of like the, the idea that, yeah, like that's how I caught it basically. It's just kind of finding, the, finding your way through relationships and stuff. My favorite lyric from the song is, it's kind of stupid, but honestly the first one, the first lyric is, I used to think that I could do anything I wanted on my own. It's all for show, I'm not better off alone. Um, aside from the rhyme scheme, it's just kind of like anyone can relate to it. You know, no one, no one can do anything on their own. And I think it might take a song, it might take another friend to tell you that, but yeah, no one can do anything. You can't live on your own, that's basically what, what the point was. And I think for anyone in any scenario, that, that means a lot. Where do you see your music career going in the future? Um, I think right now I'm kind of open to anything. I'd love to, love to see where it takes me. I mean, at this point, it's one song in, and uh, a lot of people like it. So if I can make a lot more songs that a lot more people like, I'll do whatever, wherever that can take me.